Hi guys, welcome to another day of Vlogtober. Today is going to be another craft day because I have a project I want to get done. But first, I want to share with you my uh, item that I just got at Michael's the other day. Oh my gosh. So, I went to Michael's, I don't know, maybe a week or so ago, and I fell in love with this mirror. It was originally $29.99. I did not want to spend $30 on a mirror, but it ended up being marked down 50% off, and I went back to get it, and I had an additional 20% off coupon on my phone that was good towards sale priced items as well. So that was 70% off. I got this $30 mirror for just under $12. I love it. It is so beautiful. It's really nice and heavy, too. Can't wait to do some spooky makeup or something in the mirror. Oh, it's so pretty. I don't know where I'm going to put it. For now, I'm going to just put it up on my desk next, next to my sewing machine. So, speaking of sewing machine, today's video is going to be a sewing video. I have um, plenty of this coffin print fabric left over from when I made my bloomers. I went and got a package of polyfill pilling, pillow stuffing, blah, 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 tongue tied there, and I have a pattern that I made, like a little template. I made a coffin shape that I'm going to cut the pillow out into. I thought that would be super cute to do coffin shaped pillows in the coffin print, and then they're going to go behind me on the couch. I'm hoping to do two. I don't know if that this will be enough stuffing to do two, but it should be. They don't need to, I don't know. I'm going to start with one. I'm going to do one today, and then I'll do a second one later, probably not on video, because um, I'll have to go get more stuffing and nah, 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 all the things. Okay, so let's get started with cutting out this fabric. Cutting it out twice so that I have it already cut and ready for when I get more pillow stuffing because I do want to have eventually two on the couch one on each side but today we're only going to make one and I have plenty of fabric left over that I could use for uh, catnip toys I always keep all my scraps for little catnip throw toys or I can make uh, little bow ties for dogs or I don't know Maybe I'll make a headband for myself. It's yeah, a project for another day. So saving my scraps. Okay, so now I just need to uh, turn these around and put the uh, image facing each other. I'm going to pin it together and leave a little opening. And then I'm going to go upstairs. I'm going to sew around where I have it pinned and then come back down here and we're going to put some stuffing in it where I leave the little hole opening.
stuff the pillow. I can't wait to go to the craft store and get another bag of polyfill pillow stuffing so I can make the second one. Oh, it's so beautiful. I absolutely love it. I'm going to put it on the couch. So hold on one second. Alrighty, there we go. It would definitely look really cool with another one over here to match, just to kind of balance it all out. There's my spooky sofa. Very happy with the way it turned out. It's so pretty. Alright, that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed my craft day making a coffin shaped pillow. I had a lot of fun and I'm very pleased with the outcome of it. It looks great on the couch with everything else. I'm going to end the video here. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another one. Bye for now. Have a great day.